Welcome to another disturbingly cheap review where I bring you a brief summary and that's pretty much all the effort I put into it. The film for this time, Breathing Room from 2008. The plot is essentially a group of people discover themselves in a situation where they are playing a game to live. That doesn't sound familiar at all, does it? So let's begin. We open with a woman waking up and finding a room of people dressed in numbered jumpsuits. The audience discovers she's the last person to arrive before the start of the game. The setup is simple. 14 people have been chosen. The winner earns the ever cliched prize of life. There are hints and clues throughout the room, such as number five is a liar or jumble. At random intervals, a curfew occurs where the lights go out and someone is killed. So can they figure out which one of them is the killer before it's too late? Honestly, this really does feel like a rejected Saw script or maybe a Saw fan fiction that got thrown together with a Cube fan fiction and it's never good when two fan fictions get together. Here are the Saw similarities. There is a game that must be won in order to stay alive. There is a character who pops up routinely to give hints or talk cryptically. There is a character who finds a tape recorder giving a cryptic message. There are characters who are there because of bad deeds in their past. And the ending, because I'm really good at finding bad endings, it almost feels like they copied the last page of the script and then added a twist on top of the twist so it wasn't a complete ripoff. But I should just try and focus on the movie itself. That is the point of a review, right? I don't know. You'd have to tell me. It's an okay film. It knows what it wants to do. It tries to build up that anyone could be the killer. There are pieces which are vital to solve a way out of the facility they're trapped in, making the movie basically one big puzzle game. Some clues are just ridiculously easy though. You give a hint that says jumble, and then everyone else finds a hint that says terror him. I wonder what we're supposed to do with such a vague hint. From there, things pop up, like a reveal that there is a killer, you don't say, a rapist, hmm, and a pedophile. Those last two are insanely easy to spot. At least they were for me. As for the killer, I'll admit my first guess wasn't right. But they were in my top two. I guess I can say I wasn't really entertained by the movie. It isn't scary. It isn't really that great of a whodunit. It's just kind of there. Some of the characters are interesting, such as number six, who seemingly embraces the fact that he's the jerk and runs with it as he tries to be the last person. In all, I don't think I'd suggest this unless you were looking for a filler film for a marathon. I know there are people out there who like this movie and therefore wouldn't agree with me, but I just couldn't get into it. It's an idea that's been done before, but slightly modified. And yes, when you do this, it can be great, but this isn't great. Good? Maybe. Passable? Yes. I would give this a grade of a C, because it's middle of the road. I didn't hate it, but I definitely can't say I liked it. And now that we've got the review out of the way, it's time for the spoilers. First off, the killer is working with the talking head that routinely shows up. That makes sense considering the plot of the film. Now, the killer, I could tell you who the killer is. In fact, during the last 10 seconds of this review, I will tell you who the killer is. So again, yes, I'm giving you like the ultimate opportunity to just go into the film and be surprised who the killer is. The killer shuts off the lights and leaves the last guy behind to die. Does that sound familiar? Seriously, it gave me Saul flashbacks. Now, we need to add in another twist to try and cover it up. So what do we do? We show scientists. At least I assume that's who they are. This is apparently a big study in human interactions, presumably. They don't come out and say it, but it essentially is a big study. And the killer is often used as the vital final member. I guess so they can interact and see what other people do. So we end the movie with our killer cleaning up and going back to work in another room. Which makes me wonder just how many rooms these people have. And what's the point of doing the same thing over and 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 over again? No, I understand if you're a scientist, you want to do things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But why over and 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 over again? That's one too many overs. Oh, and the killer is the girl from the poster. The end.